The North American A-5 Vigilante was a carrier-based supersonic bomber designed and built by North American Aviation for the United States Navy. Its service in the nuclear strike role to replace the Douglas A-3 Sky Warrior was very short. However, as the RA-5C, it saw extensive service during the Vietnam War and the tactical strike reconnaissance role. Prior to the unification of the Navy designation sequence with the Air Force sequence in 1962, it was designated the A-3J Vigilante. Design and Development In 1953, North American Aviation began a private study for a carrier-based, long-range, all-weather strike bomber, capable of delivering nuclear weapons at supersonic speeds. This proposal, the North American General Purpose Attack Weapon Concept, was accepted by the United States Navy, with some revisions, in 1955. A contract was awarded on August 29, 1956. Its first flight occurred two years later on August 31, 1958 in Columbus, Ohio. At the time of its introduction, the Vigilante was one of the largest and by far the most complex aircraft to operate from a United States Navy aircraft carrier. It had a high-mounted swept wing with a boundary layer control system to improve low-speed lift. There were no ailerons. Roll control was provided by spoilers in conjunction with differential deflection of the all-moving tail surfaces. The use of aluminum-lithium alloy for wing skins and titanium for critical structures was also unusual. The A-5 had two widely spaced General Electric J-79 turbojet engines, fed by intake ramps and a single large or moving vertical stabilizer. Preliminary design studies had employed twin vertical fin rudders. The wings, vertical stabilizer and the nose were dome folded for carrier stowage. The Vigilante had a crew of two seated in tandem, a pilot and a bombardier navigator on later reconnaissance versions, in individual North American HS-1 ejection seats. Despite being designated by the U.S. Navy as a heavy, the A-5 was surprisingly agile for such a large aircraft. Without the drag of bombs or missiles, even escorting fighters found that the clean airframe and powerful engines made the Vigilante very fast at high and low altitudes. However, its high approach speed and high angle of attack in the landing configuration made returning to the aircraft carrier a challenge for inexperienced or unwary pilots. The Vigilante had advanced and complex electronics when it first entered service. It had one of the first fly-by-wire systems on an operational aircraft and a computerized ANASB-12 nav attack system incorporating a head-up display, one of the first, multi-mode radar, radar-equipped inertial navigation system, closed-circuit television camera under the nose, and an early digital computer known as Versatile Digital Analyzer to run it all. Given its original design as a carrier-based, supersonic, nuclear-heavy attack aircraft, the Vigilante's main armament was carried in a novel linear bomb bay between the engines and the rear fuselage, which provided for positive separation of the bomb from the aircraft at supersonic speeds. The single nuclear weapon, commonly the Mk-28 bomb, was attached to two disposable fuel tanks in the cylindrical bay in an assembly known as the Stores Train. A set of extendable fins was attached to the aft end of the most rearward fuel tank. These fuel tanks were to be emptied during the flight to the target and then jettisoned with a bomb by an explosive drogue gun. The Stores Train was propelled rearward at about 50 feet per second relative to the aircraft. It thereafter followed a typical ballistic path. In practice, the system was not reliable and no live weapons were ever carried in the linear bomb bay. In the RA-5C configuration, the bay was used solely for fuel. On three occasions, the shock of the catapult launch caused the fuel cans to eject onto the deck resulting in one aircraft loss. The Vigilante originally had two wing pylons, intended primarily for drop tanks. The second Vigilante variant, the A3J2, incorporated internal tanks for an additional 460 gallons of fuel along with two additional wing hardpoints, for a total of four. In practice the hardpoints were rarely used. Other improvements included blown flaps on the leading edge of the wing and sturdier landing gear. The reconnaissance version of the Vigilante, the RA-5C, 
had slightly greater wing area and added a long canoe-shaped bearing under the fuselage for a multi-sensor reconnaissance pack. This added an APD-7 side-looking airborne radar, AAS-21 infrared line scanner, and camera packs, as well as improved ECM. An ANALQ-61 electronic intelligence system could also be carried. The RA-5C retained the ANASB-12 bombing system, and could, in theory, carry weapons, although it never did in service. Later build RA-5CS had more powerful J-79-10 engines with afterburning thrust of 17,900 pound forces. The reconnaissance vigilante weighed almost five tons more than the strike version with almost the same thrust and an only modestly enlarged wing. These changes costed acceleration and climb rate, though it remained fast in level flight. The Royal Australian Air Force considered the RA-5C Vigilante as a replacement for its English electric Canberra. The McDonnell F-4C-RF-4C, Dassault Mirage IVA, and the similar BACTS-A2 was also considered. However, the TFX was accepted. Operational History Designated A3J-1 the Vigilante first entered squadron service with Heavy Attack Squadron 3 in June 1961 at Naval Air Station Sanford, Florida, replacing the Douglas A-3 Sky Warrior in the Heavy Attack, for example, Strategic Nuclear Strike, role. All variants of the Vigilante were built at North American Aviation's facility at Port Columbus Airport in Columbus, Ohio, alongside the North American T-2 Buckeye. T-39 Sabre Liner and OV-10 Bronco. Under the Tri-Services designation plan implemented under Robert McNamara in September 1962, the Vigilante was redesignated A-5, with the initial A-3J-1 becoming A-5A and the updated A-3J-2 becoming A-5B. The subsequent reconnaissance version, originally A-3J-3P, became the RA-5C. The Vigilante's early service proved troublesome with many teething problems for its advanced systems. Although these systems were highly sophisticated, the technology of the time was in its infancy, and its reliability was poor. Although most of these reliability issues were eventually worked out as maintenance personnel gained greater experience with supporting these systems, the aircraft tended to remain a maintenance-intensive platform throughout its career. The A-5 service coincided with a major policy shift in the U.S. Navy's strategic role, which switched to emphasize submarine-launched ballistic missiles rather than manned bombers. As a result, in 1963, procurement of the A-5 was ended and the type was converted to the fast reconnaissance role. The first RA-5CS were delivered to Heavy Attack Squadron 3, the A-5A and A-5B replacement air group slash fleet replacement squadron subsequently redesignated as Reconnaissance Attack Squadron 3, at NAS Sanford, Florida in July 1963. As they transitioned from the attack version to the reconnaissance version, all vigilante squadrons were subsequently redesignated from VAH to a VAH. Under the cognizance of Commander, Reconnaissance Attack Wing 1, a total of 10 RA-5C squadrons were ultimately established. RVAH-3 continued to be responsible for the Stutesite-based RA-5C training mission of flight crews, maintenance and support personnel, while RVAH-1, RVAH-5, RVAH-6, RVAH-7, RVAH-9, RVAH-11, RVAH-12, RVAH-13 and RVAH-14 routinely deployed aboard for Estel, Saratoga, Ranger, Independence, Kitty Hawk. Constellation, Enterprise, America, John F. Kennedy and eventually the Nimitz-class aircraft carriers to the Atlantic, Mediterranean and Western Pacific. Eight of ten squadrons of RA-5C vigilantes also saw extensive service in Vietnam starting in August 1964, carrying out hazardous medium-level post-strike reconnaissance missions. Although it proved fast and agile, 18 RA-5CS we lost in combat, 14 to anti-aircraft fire, 3 to surface-to-air missiles, and 1 to a MiG-21 during Operation Linebacker 2. Nine more RA-5CS we lost in operational accidents while serving with Task Force 77. Due, in part, to these combat losses, 
36 additional RA-5C aircraft were built from 1968 to 1970 as attrition replacements. In 1968, Congress closed the aircraft's original operating base of NAS Sanford, Florida and transferred the parent wing, Reconnaissance Attack Wing 1, all subordinate squadrons, and all aircraft and personnel to Turner AFB, a Strategic Air Command Boeing B-52 Stratofortress and Boeing KC-135 base in Albany, Georgia. The Tenant SAC bomb wing was then inactivated and control of Turner AFB was transferred from the Air Force to the Navy with the installation renamed Naval Air Station Albany. In 1974, after barely six years of service as a Naval Air Station, Congress opted to close NAS Albany as part of a post-Vietnam force reduction, transferring all RA-5C units and personnel to NAS Key West, Florida. Despite the vigilante's useful service, it was expensive and complex to operate and occupied significant amounts of precious flight deck and hangar deck space aboard both conventional and nuclear-powered aircraft carriers at a time when carrier air wings, with the introduction of the F-14 Tomcat and S-3 Viking, were averaging 90 aircraft, many of which were larger than the predecessors. With the end of the Vietnam War, disestablishment of RVAH squadrons began in 1974, with the last vigilante squadron, RVAH-7, completing its final deployment to the Western Pacific aboard Ranger in late 1979. The final flight by an RA-5C took place on November 20, 1979 when a vigilante departed NAS Key West, Florida. Reconnaissance Attack Wing 1 was subsequently disestablished at NAS Key West, Florida in January 1980. The vigilante did not end the career of the A-3 Sky Warriors which would carry on as photo reconnaissance aircraft, electronic warfare platforms, aerial refueling tankers, and executive transport aircraft designated as RA-3 Ares per Byte, EA-3 Ares per Byte, ERA-3B, EKA-3B KA-3B, and VA-3B, into the 1980s and early 1990s. Fighters replaced the RA-5C in the carrier-based reconnaissance role. The RF-8G version of the Vought F-8 Crusader, modified with internal cameras, had already been serving in two light photographic squadrons since the early 1960s, operating from older aircraft carriers unable to support the vigilante. The Marine Corps Sol Photographic Squadron would also deploy aboard aircraft carriers during this period with RF-4B Phantom II aircraft. These squadrons superseded the vigilante's role by providing detachments from the primary squadron to carrier air wings throughout the late 1970s and early to mid-1980s until transfer of the recon mission to the Navy's fighter squadron community operating the Grumman F-14 Tomcat. Select models of the F-14 Tomcat would eventually carry the multi-sensor tactical air reconnaissance pod and the digital tactical air reconnaissance pod. Following up to present day, the weight of fighters such as the F-14 Tomcat and Boeing FF Super Hornet have evolved into the same 62,950 pounds class as the Vigilante. With the retirement of the F-14, the Boeing FF Super Hornet strike fighters and EA-18G Growler electronic warfare aircraft are purported to cover the strike, reconnaissance, tanker and electronic warfare roles of the F-14 Tomcat, A-6E Intruder, A-7E Corsair II, RF-8G Crusader, RA-5C, KA-6D Intruder, Grumman EA-6B Prowler, S-3B Viking, ES-3A Shadow and EA-3B Sky Warrior. Equals influence equals, while the vigilante served in the attack and reconnaissance roles, its design and plan form was a direct descendant of the earlier WS-202 or XF-108 Rapier Mach 3 fighter, designed originally to escort the North American XB-70 Valkyrie bomber. Equals records equals, on December 13, 1960, Navy Commander Leroy Heath and Lieutenant Larry Monroe established a world altitude record of 91,450.8 feet in an A3J vigilante carrying a 1,000-kilogram payload, beating the previous record by over 4 miles. This new record held for over 13 years. Variants, XA3J1, prototypes, two built one converted to a 5 c A5A, production nuclear bomber variant. 57 built, 42 converted to a 5 c A5B, 
nuclear bomber with greater range. Two prototypes, both converted to a A5C. YAR-5C, four completed from A5B order without reconnaissance systems and assigned to pilot familiarization, later converted to a A5C. RA-5C, reconnaissance version. 91 new build plus conversions of 43 A5As and the first 6 A5Bs. NR-349, proposed improved manned interceptor for U.S. Air Force with three J-79 engines and an armament of six AIM-54 Phoenix missiles. Operators, United States, United States Navy. Aircraft on display. A-5A, BU No. 146697, Patrick St. River NAS, Lexington Park, Maryland. It is the oldest vigilante on display and the only one still in its original A3JA5A nuclear attack bomber configuration. An additional example of an A5A destined for restoration as a museum aircraft, BU No. 146698, was destroyed when it was being relocated by helicopter from Naval Air Engineering Station Lakehurst, New Jersey to a new location. When the A5A became unstable in flight, the helicopter crew was forced to jettison the aircraft from altitude. RA-5C, BU No. 149289, Palmer Air and Space Museum in Tucson, Arizona. It was transferred from long-term storage at nearby Davis Mongan Air Force Base and it carries the markings of RVAH-3. BU No. 151629, Pueblo Weas Broad Aircraft Museum in Pueblo, Colorado. It has been restored and currently displays the markings of RVAH-7 while assigned to Carrier Air Wing 9 aboard Enterprise. BU No. 156608, Naval Support Activity Mid-South, formerly Naval Air Station Memphis, Tennessee. It was the last operational RA-5C aircraft and it carries the markings of its last squadron, RVAH-7, during its final deployment with Carrier Air Wing 2 aboard Ranger in 1979. BU No. 156612, Naval Air Station Key West, Florida. Gate Guard aircraft located just inside the main gate. It carries the markings of RVAH-3. BU No. 156615, Castle Air Museum at the former Castle Air Force Base, California in 2012. This aircraft was formerly located on the Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake Range. This particular RA-5C was the last vigilante to land aboard the USS Ranger while assigned to a VAH-7 in August 1979 during the last vigilante overseas carrier deployment. BU No. 156621, New York State Air Sciences Museum in Glenville, New York. It was initially on display at the former U.S. Naval Photographic School at NAS Pensacola, Florida. In 1986, it was shipped up the East Coast by barge and placed on display aboard the USS Intrepid Museum in New York City. In 2005, the Zara 5C was acquired by ESAM. The aircraft suffered minor damage to its fuselage after the wing route while being moved from the aircraft carrier Intrepid to a barge while supported by slings. It is currently undergoing restoration for display. It carries the markings of the RA-5C Fleet Replacement Squadron, RVAH-3. BU No. 156624, National Naval Aviation Museum at NAS Pensacola, Florida. It is displayed in the markings of RVAH-6 per that squadron's final cruise with Carrier Air Wing 8 aboard Nimitz in 1978. BU No. 156632, Orlando Sanford International Airport in Sanford, Florida. It was placed there on May 30, 2003 as a memorial to A-5 and RA-5C aircrewmen and support personnel who served at NAS Sanford. On loan from the National Museum of Naval Aviation, the aircraft was transferred from the Naval Air Systems Command Weapons Division at Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake, California and is marked as an RVAH-3 aircraft. BU No. 156638, Naval Air Station Fallon, Nevada. It was transferred from Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake, 
California and was previously marked as an RVAH-6 aircraft in a Vietnam-era jungle camouflage paint scheme, as an RVAH-12 aircraft in traditional Cold War gray-white paint scheme, and currently as an RVAH-7 aircraft in traditional gray-white paint scheme. BU No. 156641, USS Midway Museum in San Diego, California. It carries the markings of RVAH-12. BU No. 156643, Patuxent River Naval Air Museum, at Naval Air Station Patuxent River, Maryland. It was transferred from NAS Key West, Florida, and is displayed as a test aircraft operated by the Patuxent River Flight Test Division in the 1970s. It was the last RA-5C built. As of 2004, all RA-5C airframes previously stored with the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group at Davis Mongan AFB, Arizona, have either been scrapped or relocated, with some of these aircraft expended as ground targets in aerial bomb and guided missile tests. A small number of RA-5C airframes in various states of condition are currently stored at Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake, California. A number of previous examples were expended as ground targets on weapon ranges at Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake, California and Eglin Air Force Base, Florida. Specifications Data from North American Rockwell A3J Vigilante, combat aircraft since 1945. General characteristics, crew, 2, length, 76 feet 6 inches, wingspan, 53 feet 0 in, height, 19 feet 4 or 3 quarters in, wing area, 700 FTA squared, empty weight, 32,714 pounds, loaded weight, 47,530 pounds, max takeoff weight, 62,953 pounds, power plant, 2A. General Electric J79G8 after burning turbojets, dry thrust, 10,900 pound forces each, thrust with afterburner, 17,000 pound forces each. Performance, maximum speed, Mach 2.0 at 40,000 feet, combat radius, 1,121 mi, ferry range, 1,571 mi, service ceiling, 52,100 feet, rate of climb. 8,000 feet per minute, wing loading, 80.4 pounds FTA squared, thrust weight, 0.72, armament, bombs, 1A, Mark 27 nuclear bomb, B-28 or B-43 freefall nuclear bomb in internal weapons bay, 2A, B-43, Mark 83, or Mark 84 bombs on two external hardpoints. Avionic systems carried by A-5 or RA-5C, an ASB-12 bombing and navigation radar, Westinghouse ANAPD-7 SLAR, Sanders ANALQ-100 EGH brand radar jammer, Sanders ANALQ-41X band radar jammer, AL and ALQ-61 radio IRECM receiver, Litton ALR-45 compass TIE-2 to 18 GHz radar warning receiver, Magnavox AN April 27 SAM radar warning receiver, a Tech A in April 25 SC band radar detection and homing set, Motorola A in April 18 electronic reconnaissance system, ANAAS 21 IR reconnaissance camera. See also Related development, North American XF-108 Rapier, aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era, BACTS-A2, Dassault Mirage 4, 2 Polov-22, related lists. List of bomber aircraft, list of military aircraft of the United States. References. Equals notes equals. Equals citations equals. Equals bibliography equals. External links. Aircraft familiarization in the A3J Vigilante on YouTube.